had only recently ignited. When the Apollo astronauts returned from the moon in the late 1960s and early 70s, they didn't just bring back photographs and stories of bouncing in low gravity. They brought back pieces of the moon itself, 382 kilograms of it. Ancient rocks, dust, and minerals, each carrying secrets from the earliest moments of our solar system. And among those secrets was something unexpected. Nearly every sample that had been melted and reshaped by impact, the kind of rock that forms when a meteorite slams into a surface, seemed to date back to the same narrow window of time, around 4.1 to 3.8 billion years ago, not randomly spread across billions of years, not scattered evenly throughout the moon's long history, but clustered, tight, focused, as if the moon had endured a sudden furious onslaught, millions of violent impacts crammed into a blink of cosmic time. That finding was unsettling. It suggested that something enormous, something terrifying, had once gone wrong in our solar system. That instead of the violence of planetary formation slowly winding down as the solar system matured, something had triggered a new wave of destruction. Something had woken up and thrown rocks the size of cities across the solar system. And for a long time, nobody knew what that something was. The theory of the late heavy bombardment remains controversial.